Jane Swift for Our World on Southern Boulevard. I'm here talking with Dr. Bob Lee of WBLS Radio. I mean, I've been trying to track you down for <laughs> almost three years, but thank you for doing this interview with me. How are you, you feeling about the festival, the Harvest Festival that's going on here on Southern Boulevard? I like it. This is the first of its kind right here on Southern Boulevard, and I think, uh, you know, it, it can only get bigger and better. You know, we started out, we have a great stage. We have some uh, great talent taken to the stage, and um, we have uh, the vendors all up and down the block. We have uh, A.R. Bernard's uh, son, he's cooking, he's a caterer, mm -hmm. and uh, he's going to bring us some food in a little while, and we're right here in oh, Subway. Yeah, yeah. I hope I, he has a plate for me, too. <laughs> yeah, there's always a plate for you at the table. Uh, at the table, <laughs> yes. Tell me, Dr. Bobby, I know you have two books out. Or one book? I have one book out and one coming out like Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. Oh, wow. This, What's this it about? Week. Well, the first book is Seven Ways to Make the Grade, and it deals with the students. You know, I have a foundation called the Make the Grade Foundation for Education, and it was based upon um, what we've been doing with WBLS all the years, uh, visiting schools throughout the tri state area in different islands and parts of the world, just to get a good idea of how people are educating our youth. So I put together this book. It's a biographical, bi uh, it was supposed to be an autobiographical type of book, but started out that way and I said, no, let's add some stuff to it. So it's an auto autobiographical, motivational, inspirational type of book. And it deals with the collaboration between parent, teacher, student, community, clergy, has some financial literacy in there and, and some health. You know, so we deal with the health organizations also. Um, but if you if you thumb through it and you you really read it, it can help our students become a little more successful. Those well, seven great. ways to make the grade. That's wonderful. And how many years have you been with WBLS now? I knew you were going to go there. I knew I was going to ask that. that question, of course. <laughs> and everyone's many? like, <laughs> how many years? Because well, we heard this guy out there for a long, long time. time. He's yes. from the Frankie Crockett it's days. You know? <laughs> that, there I go. There I go. There I go. There, That's there true. I go. Very and you knew true. it was eight o'clock. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, I started out as an intern. I, I did radio in college. I, I was a program director, general manager, and did the internship with uh, Fox 5 and uh, WBLS, WLIB. And I started uh, way back. Yes. That doesn't answer your question, though. <laughs> yeah, but that's all right. That's enough. That's enough information. I started, I'm not ashamed. I started in the 80s, and I'm still relevant today because I do, I stay in the schools. Uh, we still work to make the great foundation, and then we still visit the schools with uh, WBLS. Well, Bob, I won't hold you up, but I thank you for this very brief interview. I'll catch you at another time. We have to go already? Hey, yes, I know you got to go no, back on stage. No, not yet. <laughs> no. But I just wanted to say Dr. Bob Lee is our host for the Harvest Fest here on Southern Boulevard. Pauline Swift for Our World on Southern. Check us out on the web, Facebook, and tweet. Tweet us if you can, I guess. I hope I said that right. Um, sometimes I have a problem with social media. But look for us on Our World on Southern. Thank and, and you. And Pauline, that, that second book, by the way, is coming out the oh, what is the second? Moment. It's, it's uh, Your Daily Dose of Quotes and Anecdotes. And it's an excellent book for students and teachers. Really? And, yeah, you can pick and choose some of the things that, that will motivate you as far as these, my, some of my favorite quotes. Oh, okay. And, and, and those quotes, some of those quotes I mentioned on the radio throughout my show throughout the night. Yeah. Uh, from 12 to 5 from in the morning. From 12 to 5, okay. And then we kick the Steve Harvey morning show. We go out to different locations. But Can I ask you one question yeah. about Steve Harvey? Is he really there or is it taped? Oh, nothing's taped. <laughs> Nothing. We are alive. <laughs> we don't even use tape anymore. No, that's true. <laughs> so it's safe to say nothing's taped. <laughs> but yeah, you can catch us on Steve. And Trip is there with all the news and information. Okay. Um, Steve Harvey and the whole crew and uh, myself, we just go around. We visit uh, schools, uh, uh, places of business, uh, uh, restaurants. Mm. and. You know, that's where that uh, that thing came from, where you, you're visiting the churches and visiting the community centers. We're just in the community, and that, that's what the people like about uh, our, our radio station. We're community-oriented. Yes, you are. Yeah. And but I've always been, remember this. Right. I've been watching your station, listening to your station for almost 40-something years. And I had done an internship at WBLS, oh, let's see, too. about maybe 36 years ago. Whoa. Yeah, so my, my first thing was broadcasting. Well, it's a good thing. Now you have interns yeah, that are following you, looking at some of the yes, things that you're doing, yes, too. But that's what it's all about, yeah. you know, helping somebody else get what they need out of life. I think that's important. But you're a role model, Dr. Bobley. You're well, thank a role you. model. 
thank you. But I always say to the youngsters, always remember this, what you are is God's gift to you, and what you make of yourself is your gift to God. So choose your choice and let your choice control the choosing. I'm the Dr. Bob Lee for 107.5 WBLS, hanging out with... Pauline Swift from Our World on Suffolk. Take care.